again, Rowan Huang. Are you guys tired of me yet? As I say, answering question. <laughs> Before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, I want to answer a question about dreaming. How do we know if we are dreaming, recalling our past life memory, or we are doing a time traveling? I think I did this episode. Have I done this episode before? I actually don't know, but you know, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep talking until one day people understand. Then we stop asking me questions. Um, many episode ago, which I think I did mention that I say sleeping is very important. Sleeping is very important. Sleeping is when your body, your physical body. And then your conscious able to have a rest, and your physical body is able to connect it with your greater self or your spirit guide, or go back to the source or whatever word you can come up. Then um, recharge, recharge you, right? So usually people who have a very good sleep, they will notice like they might seem to get cleared. All of a sudden, the problem that they have the night before seems to have a solution to it. Because you have a chance to reconnect with your deeper self, and then you're able to find the answer for, or if not answer, clue to what you should do next. So, those are what I said the important of sleeping. Today, I want to talk about roughly talk about dreaming. Since you understand that when you are sleeping, your soul will have to go wherever place it need to go in order to get the information you need to get. Very often, going back to source, so you will not have any memory. Of whatsoever, <laughs> but some people have sharper memory. Might even remember, you know, the best sleep of you really is not to remember anything. This is when you connect it with your deepest soul. You wake up, understand the answer, or even the puzzle, or the quiz, or test that you couldn't figure out night before. Why? Because you got to tap into your deeper source. But Now, if you do remember, then this time we call dreaming. Dreaming is very often you come up and then you're like, oh, I had this dream of I was running around, I was doing something, and I was, you know, whatsoever, right? This is a moment I talk about dreaming. I did mention there will be time that when you are dreaming, you will tend to call on your past memory, or there will be time. Past on mem past life memory don't usually get called during your sleep anyway. It got cold even when you're awake. Believe it or not, you often got this deja vu feeling. I seems to have done this before. I seems to, you know, you usually have that sense here and there. But anyway, put that aside. I'm I'm hoping to give you a little bit tip and hopefully under to help you understand, or you know, not so clearly, but at least a little bit <laughs> understand the difference between those. Yes, you could be dreaming, purely dreaming. You know, um. Doing your sleep, you could be recalling your past life memory. You could be doing time traveling. Yes, all and above. Since when you are sleeping, your soul tend to wander. So you could have done a lot of things during your sleep. Now, when you are dreaming, how do I tell I'm dreaming? Have you ever, you know, the feeling of dreaming after you wake up is like you just went to watch a movie. You watch a movie. You remember every detail of it. You remember the the scene of it. You remember that your favorite scene, or like you know, it was great. That feeling, you know, you can describe to detail, not detail. You can describe the storyline. Does that make sense? Usually, that's when you are dreaming. Dreaming is very often triggered by conscious, like whether whatever you experiencing or not experiencing, and then that trigger it to have this kind of. A movie scene or something to satisfy or make up to or、um, reacted, reflected us what your conscious mind was feeling while you were awake. So yes, you will be dreaming, but it feels like you watch a movie. I can describe what a story about. I can describe you know who I me and things like that. Understand? It reflect. It have something to do with your conscious. Either reflect or make up to what you did not feel. Make up to. Reflect what you felt, or make up to what you did not feel. Now, recalling. Let's call recalling. You do recall your past life memory, which very often is、uh, triggered by what you experienced during a period of time when you are awake as well, right? How do I tell the difference? The difference is like me now asking you, me 
asking you, um, when is your happiest moment when, when you were a kid? And then now you go back, you think about it. Oh, my happiest moment is, you know, when my mom first take me out, you know, to dinner or something like that. Just spend some time thinking about it. Think about the happiest moment that you have when you were a kid. The first memory, I don't care, is a five-year-old, 10-year-old, or even when you were a teenager. Then you now start to notice something different. It's not only you recalling what's actually happening, it seems like you can still smell. You can smell it, or you can feel it. It may be some texture that you touch so long ago, but all of a sudden it seems to surface your, your body. This is something that I find very amazing of human human soul body is how much memory that we have in the soul that is able to command our body to respond do you know what i mean so when you are recalling some kind of past time memory you usually will come with a sensation that sensation is very real very real it's like you can almost describe what's a cheesecake that you taste in your dream. And that's so weird. You can almost describe what it, the smell is like. You can almost describe what the sensation is like. Because while you are recalling your past time memory, what you did not realize your past time memory then is com commanding your body to um, call out the data. Therefore, that things that you feel a thousand years ago, all of a sudden it seems like you feel it now. Or like now you talk about your childhood, my first kiss, my first hug. <clears throat> you seem to feel like your, your whole body seems to experience that. That is a big difference from dreaming. Dreaming, you don't have that. But when you are recalling your past, when you're recalling your past life or anything, your body responds to that. You know what I mean? So you will feel that. Now we're talking about time travel. When I travel to one place, right? I don't know where I go and things like that. Usually when you do time traveling, there's no storyline. You waking up, you couldn't really quite tell because there's no story attached to it. You know what I mean? You simply travel to a place, you travel to a space. It's like, it's like the first feeling that you landed in Greece. Let's say you've never been to Greece and then you're around, you don't know what to think of it, but you will have a feeling of it. You know what I mean? It seems like you will have a feeling, but you really couldn't, there's no storyline to it. There's no attachment to it. But then you have, it seems like you just simply have some kind of feeling around it. This is what happened when you do um, time traveling. My is personal experience, I don't have to do it when I'm, when I'm sleeping. I do that a lot when I'm awake. I do, I can tell you. <laughs> Every time I do time traveling or time space traveling, I have no attachment to it. You know, I, I got no idea I'm watching a good movie or bad movie. I got no idea. When I'm simply traveling to a place, I have nothing attached to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to add on to this too. Other from those three, the things that you do mostly, mostly during your sleep is go back to your source. Go back to your source. Source, why? You got a feeling of it. This type of dream, what do you usually have? Yes, you're dreaming. You just don't know you're dreaming. <laughs> or some of you know you're dreaming. Is you will not remember anything. <laughs> you will not remember anything. You don't even remember what it is. You don't even remember what actually happened. You don't even know where you go or what. But you will wake up, have a feeling attached to you a feeling you know the feeling that is you know sometimes sad sometimes happy or sometimes whatever this is very often that you go back to your source you might get in tech of either what lesson you're supposed to learn here what purpose you're supposed to fulfill here or things like that so what you do is that feeling is very often going to feel or push you to go to the next level or you know remind you or something so this is uh, the difference from all of three if you want to know what's different between dreaming dreaming you can tell the story i can totally tell the story you know am i feeling or not doesn't matter but i can tell you how does that person look how tall it is or whatever and then when you're recalling your past life you might be able to describe it but understand you have a physical feeling to it 
you have a physical feeling because you're no longer watching TV. You are simply recording the data that you personally experience. So if you personally experience it, your body will respond to it. And then time travel, understand you don't feel anything. You simply don't because you have no memory or something collect to it. Like, you know what I mean? So you will go to a place not feeling, especially if this place you've never been before, you will not know what to think of it. If this is a place that you've been before, then it's kind of partially go back to your uh, past memory. It will recall that memory back. Then very often you go back to your source. Go back to the source, you'll wake up, have no idea what did you just dream about. But what is strong is you linger on, the feeling that linger on with you. That feeling, as I say, usually is somewhat some somewhat something to do with the things that either you have to figure it out right now in this part of your life or the issue or something. You are simply went back to your source and get some information, either serve as a reminder or give you a little bit push or you know some kind of feeling that help you reflect, understand what's going on. So anyway. Hope that answer your question. Again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website, ryuwn.com. Till then, I talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.